Let's talk a bit about how to organize your sidebar in Slack. Now your sidebar is where all of your channels are listed and it's kind of your first port of call. It's kind of like folders and email. Now, the Slack workspace has like 12,000 channels. There are channels everywhere we have channels for everything. So your sidebar can be complete chaos if you don't tame it. And there's two ways to do that. And I've talked about one of them before. First of all is to make it so that your sidebar only contains channels that have messages that are unread in it. And the second thing you can do is you can use uh, sections so you can group your channels into whatever logical way works for you. So by default, you have star channels, you have uh, unread channels, and you have everything else. But there's no reason you can't make them custom. So for instance, for me, I have a folder for the DMs with all of my direct team. Uh, that also contains the team channel, and it also contains like a channel of my peers, like other managers in Slack. And then you go down, I have like a section for platform, I have a section for help channels, I have a section for feedback channels, and so on and so forth. But everyone in Slack does it slightly differently. And the reason you do this is because at Slack we have super granular channels. We'll think nothing about spitting up a channel knowing that it's only going to last for two weeks, and we put it in there. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to log into Slack first thing in the morning, and you just look at your sidebar and you can instantly triage all of the unread messages. You can say like, okay, there's an update about Project X. I don't need to think about Project X right now, so I'm just going to ignore that for a minute. And you can even just collapse that folder if you want. And then it allows you to focus on them really, really quickly. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can actually group channels into those little sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into Preferences. I'm going to click Sidebar. And then I'm just going to click Unread Conversations. You can see that has instantly already cleaned up the sidebar. And if I ever want to get to one of those channels that doesn't have an unread message, I just take Command or Control K, get the quick switcher here, and I can type in a channel name. So how else can we organize this? Well, we can see that there's these PLZ channels, which is usually a custom for channels where you're going to ask questions of your coworkers. So let's create a section here for, for grouping all of these PLZ channels. So we go here to these three dots create new section and uh, let's just put PLZ as the name and um, you know we'll give it this little this little emoji here hit create now what I can do is, is I can edit sidebar click all these channels here and move them to PLZ and that's already done and I can create uh, another section here. Let's say, um, let's say an announcements section. Announcements. Um, let's give it like a megaphone kind of emoji. And hit create. And then, and like I said, you can do the the checkbox thing that I showed you a minute ago. But you can also just drag and drop channels. So you can just drag them and drop them in there. And now I can instantly see what's available and what's not and kind of neatly organize my sidebar so I can I can collapse these if I want you can see oh well there's one you know uh, mention of me in the announcements channel there's some mentions of me in PLZ and if there are channels in a section where there's not no mentions but there is unread messages then it'll just bold it here like this and that sections it is the, the simplest way to put some kind of order on your sidebar and it makes triaging your slack channels and your slack workspace so much easier Another thing that having sections is really helpful for is if you come back from vacation and you have just a whole pile of unread messages, the sections allow you to quickly decide what's going to get read and what's not. Personally, what I like to do when I come back from, from a long vacation, more than like two or three days away, I'm going to read everything from, one, uh, you know, all direct messages from the people on my team and the people, you know, who were kind of lateral in the org chart to me. So like other managers in my group. And then I'm going to read the team channels. I'm going to read any important private channels I'm in. And everything else is just going to mark as red. Just, just declare message bankruptcy. Okay, what sections are you putting in your Slack uh, workspace? Why don't you leave a message in the comment below giving your say, favorite sections and how you organize your sidebar. If you want to hear about more different Slack tips, here's a playlist you can review. Have a great day.